Hello guys, Gavin here. Um, Happy New Year to all of you. And um, I thought I make another small tutorial for you guys in the new year because uh, you guys seem to really, really like those videos. Um, this time I wanted to talk about a project you might have seen on Instagram recently, which I posted. I, I would say that I only post like 10 to 20 percent of my of the projects that, that i do because i think they're they're good enough to show you guys or to show people and um so uh if you if you're interested in seeing the work that i really really want to post and that i uh, post on instagram then just give me a follow there and if you have any questions a lot of people just uh, ask me questions there uh, you can also post them in the comments like i always say and uh, but um, there's also uh, the option for instagram if you guys need help and yeah and if you have cool work and i like your your uh, profile i'll always give you a follow back of course um so we can inspire inspire each other and uh, help each other you know um so um this is a project that i recently did for uh, iwc which is a, a watch manufacturer and they uh often do corporations corporations with uh, mercedes amg um, and most of the mercedes amgs there's also an iwc iwc analog watch built into the car and um they they like i said they often do projects together and corporations and um this was a studio production and uh that's the shot that i want to show you guys um so let's start here so this is the the raw image that i got and uh it's yeah, it's a studio production. It was lit very yellowish, greenish, and it's a it was a nice project. Uh, it was a nice project that I could um, be creative in, and um, it looked it looked awesome right away. And there were just some minor tweaks, and I wanted to be a bit more analog. That's what I tend to do right now with a lot of my projects. There are some projects where I built a no tree. For the project um, specifically, but um, oftentimes I just start with my with my primary nodes, and it's it's you know it, I want to keep it basic. It's it's that's what I like to do because lo lots of people on on YouTube they want to make a big show out of everything. You know they have no trees that are totally useless and. Uh, <laughs> totally huge and um i could i could minimize my no trees as well but sometimes you know you get some cl uh, client changes and then you just put a new note on the back of the grading and stuff like that and um so so sometimes it's it's more notes than than necessary of course and um that's how real grading work works most of the time but in, in the end, I want to keep it simple. I want to keep it basic. And that's how you get a clean image in the end. And you can still be very creative. And uh, yeah. So this is the shot that I wanted to show you guys. And let me see here. So and this is the end product that I that I got out. See that? I uh, see that below the car. It's a bit burnt out. No, not even. <laughs> you know sometimes you go back to projects and you see stuff and it's it's not always perfect or ideal um but that's just how it works so um as you can see the whole project consisted of shots like that and we always kept it in the same world there are also uh car only shots you know like this one or like this one but i really wanted to show you this one here and so um i started out with you see the note tree here it's it's very basic it's some it's a lot of notes and you know those ones here you could also package into one note in the end so those are actually one note. I just did some adjustments. I didn't like it, did another note. So I could always go back, you know, every step that I make, I try to, sometimes I do a new note so I can always go back. And um, I did my uh, color space transform here. This was uh, from Sony 
S Gamma 3 Cine. This was shot with, yeah, with, I think it was shot with the with the Veniston. And then a output color space is Rec 79. Output Gamma is Cine and Film Lock, so I could use my Kodak um, LUT here, which is, let me see. Um, Rec 79 codec 2383D65, uh, which I love very much. And that's how I started. And then I got, you know, let, let me see. So we did this, we did this. That's what we had. That was the base. It was quite dark, as you can see. And then I went into the primaries, which I did before. I raised the brightness took out some saturation and um, did some white balancing with my with my highlights you can see here and what I always try to do with productions like that I try to put on the glow right away so I see what I can do with it here see so the glow itself all also gives it some saturation and uh, changes the color so something nice might happen there but you're not always sure, so you have to try that, try that out. Tweak the settings, of course. Make it so it looks beautiful for you, you know. I mean, and, and, and developing that eye to see what's a good starting point for me to go on with, with the shot. Um, you have to develop that with your own eyes, you know. And But as long as it looks technically clean, it's a good starting po point anyway. Then I went, um, I think I put the film blur here. It's always, it's just like I always do. Um, you know, the, the digital sensors always do quite a sharp image, especially, I mean, this, the, the Venice is, is different than, of course, uh, A7 cameras or uh, other digital smaller cameras. But um, and it also depends on the, on the optics, on the lenses they use. But I always think it's, it's kind of, a bit too sharp you know that's why i put it it's it's only like uh 0 0.02 that i went up here it's, it's starting from 0 0.50 50 i know you know what i mean <laughs> and then oh i'm scared that this video will be too long so i shouldn't i shouldn't say that <laughs> like this phrase also makes it longer <laughs> hope you bear with me guys bear with me then i went and I did the film curve. I'm not sure if that went before or after. I'm not sure it's, it doesn't make the shot better here, but I'm, I think I worked with it here again. I put also some halation. You can hardly see it from here. Oh, well, a bit on our skin and on the, you know, on the, on the, on the sides of her and all the, all the sharper edges. And I, yeah, that comes after. Then I went, I took out some saturation. No, it's actually, see, see, minus saturation, but I actually put in some saturation. I don't know why, when it said minus sat. So you always have to take care of that. <laughs> I mean, it didn't matter here, so client liked it, but just for your own sake, you have to take, uh, track that as well. And then I finally did it, made it brighter and um, took out saturation. Like, yeah, you see starting here from 50 and I went down 10 points here. And I did a highlight shift because it was too yellow greenish for the client. And I made it a bit more, you know, just with, with uh, can you see the wheels? Yeah, just here, I just put on some, you know, some reddish or apricot tones and in the end i also went up with the saturation again actually yeah so what do we do here yeah so that's something i like to do um before the primaries and before all the other notes it's just picking the highlights you can see the light here of the g at the j 63 amj um, just to, to get the highlights down again, um, to give them a bit more structure and to make them look as they really look, you know, I mean, they're quite bright, those lights in the modern cars, but 
yeah so it's it's quite basic i would say it's all mainly i mean it's just it's only as many nodes because i uh did some adjustments in which i could combine in one i actually could combine some of them in one in one node it doesn't always have to be like a crazy complex um no tree you know it's uh, i don't see the sense in that sometimes it's necessary uh, maybe if you get like different parts of the image you get alpha layers you get um there's you know there's a discrepancy between the skin and all the other lights and they, the lighting wasn't was just not as good and uh, that's when you have to be a bit more precise with your no trees and but but most of the time it's just very simple and um yeah so that's how i like to work <laughs> hope you guys like this one as well and um for real color grading content <laughs> Uh, that sounds that sounds stupid i mean i just don't like what other people sometimes do they they you just see that they want to sell their master classes and all of their shitty stuff and uh, there there's some like colin kelly which i really like he's a very technical guy and he's really um i think he's a good guy um I haven't watched all of his videos um, and I, I actually learned a lot from him too. So there's always room to learn more, always, always, always. I mean, in 10 years, I will still learn new things, um, especially with new technologies coming out. And um, I'm not grading in HDR right now, for example. So there's a lot to learn from me too. Uh, but there are a lot of them that try to exaggerate everything and it's like i said everything has to be a show and everything has to be very complicated and uh, no trees with you know five parallel nodes and then there's this crazy thing that they're doing and it's only working like that and oh, it's just uh, it just annoys me yeah i just want to keep it real uh, that's why i want to show you the jobs that i really did and that that I earned money with and uh, I think that's the most realistic thing you can get and if you like that then yeah just share the stuff and show it to other people and uh, I really want to help you guys and I still want to do um, the, the next video will be of course uh, another uh, you know uh, another video about the business of grading and, and maybe some some of the plugins that, that i use or something like that so some real really the stuff that you guys need okay so hope you like this one and i hope to see you in the next one as well see you guys bye bye <laughs>